Good morning, everyone. It is that time of year. I'm gonna go through my top 10 cameras of the year. So whether you're shopping for yourself or for a loved one, or just wanna see how this list shakes out for 2022, let's get this thing started. Here are my top 10 cameras of the year. Similar to the previous year, I've listed this out as good, better, and best. And we're gonna start with the good cameras first. You know something, if you're looking to upgrade from your mobile device, the first one on this list is the Canon EOS R10, announced earlier this year. If you're looking for an interchangeable lens camera that can give you great photography in the moment, I think this is the first camera you should consider. Now let's say you're platform agnostic and you want something else. You want something that can do a little bit more, do it differently. There's also the Nikon Z30, which brings a ton of great features for users this year. There's also the Sony ZV-E10. And that was a little bit earlier than both of these cameras I mentioned earlier, but with its autofocus video features and suite of lenses that you can choose from, this is a formidable solution for someone that's looking to graduate from their mobile device. Any one of these cameras would make a great addition to your kit. Finding the right one for you is really about which features are gonna stand out to you, whether you're more of a photographer or more of a hybrid shooter or someone that wants to do a bit more vlogging. In that order, I think you have a great suite of cameras to pick from. Now let's talk about the better cameras. These are cameras that maybe you have an older camera, an older mirrorless or older DSLR solution, and you're looking to upgrade and get something a bit more modern. These are the cameras that I think you should consider. First on the list is the Fujifilm X-T5, a brand new edition. This is something that is gonna make for an impressive photography upgrade from your existing DSLR or mirrorless solution. It's something that you should really consider if you're looking to level up your photography. Now, if you want something with a full frame sensor, look no further than the Canon EOS R6, a camera that can take your photography further and really a great upgrade from most of the cameras on the market. And say you wanna do a mix of photo and video, you have to consider the Sony a7 IV, something that was announced the previous year, but still one of the most compared, most looked at, most reviewed cameras on the market. It does so much and does so much well that if you have a DSLR sitting at home and you want something that can really bring you into the future, this is the camera to look at. Now, let's look at the best cameras on the market, at least according to me. If you are looking to get something that's a bit more of a flagship solution, right? You are, you know, looking to make money or making money off of your creativity. These are the cameras that I think you should consider. First is the Nikon Z6 II, a bit of an older addition, but something that still delivers, still reliable, and just gives you a ton of features to keep you creating and deliver remarkable results. Now, say you want something that gives you some of the best imagery on the market for stills, you have to look at the new Sony A7R5. We got to go hands on with this thing. It is coming out this holiday season and you're gonna get some of the richest files, the richest imagery that you can get from a modern mirrorless solution. Not to mention some of the best autofocus you've ever seen. But what if you want something that does a little bit of both, that does really good photos and really good video? Well, you gotta look at the Fujifilm X-H2, something that's gonna give you 40 megapixel stills and 8K video. A true hybrid beast, something that will work in indoor, outdoor environments and work with confidence. Now, what if you don't care for stills as much? In fact, you just wanna shoot videos. You wanna be the next Scorsese. Well, I think you have to give a hard look at the Canon C70. This run and gun solution is an incredible cinema mirrorless solution with an RF mount, built-in NDs, XLR inputs, all of this comes together in a package that, well, isn't too crazy. It is something that you can handhold and shoot with confidence. I think this is the one that you have to look at if you're looking for that pro entry level cinema solution. So there you have it. Those are my top 10 cameras this year. The good, the better, the best. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. And maybe there's something that didn't make the list that you think should be on the list. Again, let me know. I'd love to have that conversation. As always, my name is Gadgen. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.